right, here is my quick, hopefully quick, walkthrough of Hascon 2017. This is the main Hasbro Exhibition Hall. I can't remember exactly what we're calling this thing, but uh, it's just kind of good here, right? But, uh, I'm just literally doing a walkthrough video, so I'm not going to describe a lot of things. We've got the transformer cars here on display. Very awesome uh, epic Transformers battle happening here. I'm going to make my rounds back around. We got the uh, uh, Risk of Bats showing. They've been showing the Transformers movies here uh, all weekend. Over here we've got the uh, Rescue Bat area and lots of uh, kids are over here playing. Robots in the sky stuff. Transformers stage. Signings. Here we have the epic last night uh, diorama that was on display at San Diego Comic Con. This is very cool. I'm going to do a separate videos of a lot of this stuff. Uh, so literally, and please don't get frustrated with me if I'm not stopping at things to really slow down. Uh, more Transformers stuff. Got some triple guns on display. Uh, over in this back corner, we're gonna just kind of skip over that. Oh, excuse me. Basically, uh, licensed transformer things. Some uh, vintage D1 transformers. Some masterpieces in there. Various props from Transformers the last night. Got a face painting booth. Lots of uh, grayscale model Transformers on display. Again, separate videos for all that. Uh, we're already done or will be posted later. Okay, so that's the Transformers area. Pretty big. Uh, this is the Sunday morning recording, so people are uh, slow to wake up. Uh, way more people here on Saturday, it seemed. Um, but overall, it's still a good amount of attendance. So, here we're going to go through the rest of the Hazcon area. So, over here we've got the Descendants area, Lane of Avalor, your Disney licensed products. Tangled. Disney. Over here we've got uh, Olaf's Frozen Adventure. Oh my gosh, they're gonna have to get a picture of that with me and send that to my daughter. Beauty and the Beast. I guess you probably don't need to say what the areas are when they've got the big logos right there. But. You're okay. On a Disney. So, learned more about Magic the Gathering this weekend than I've ever uh, cared to know or whatever. Uh, it's just really massive turnout for, uh, I guess it's the 25th anniversary of Magic, so. really into this. I had no idea. This was, I guess I had an inkling when I see the numbers from Hasbro about, uh, that, that are made available online that show how big the brands are. You know, I see that and uh, it's really impressive. Alright, stopped and did a picture of me with Olaf to send to my daughters and my wife. That got accomplished. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons has had a large presence here. Uh, though there is not a lot of people here for that. Well, at least at the moment. Here we have the uh, Star Wars area. Uh, 
lot of tea and you gotta come over. You know what I'm saying? It's a 66 dollars. This is, if you look over in the background, that's where the Transformers area is, just to give you kind of a scale. I've kind of walked around in a circle, which is going to screw me up here in a minute, but uh, I should have done this first, but we didn't, so. And for you Transformers fans, there's Death's Head and uh, I believe that's Excalibur. No. God, well, I can't remember his name. Um, the UK guy. <laughs> So there's the Marvel area. Alright, here we go back to Spider Man area, Guardians of the Galaxy area. Sort of stuff to get back on uh, track here. Alright, so there. Literally blowing money away at the Monopoly area over here. Oh, another one! That is pretty funny. Face going on over here, which is always lots of fun. <laughs> oh, we <you> got it. <laughs> Kids love that game. popular My Little Pony area, which is uh, another pretty popular area here, especially with the upcoming My Little Pony movie. We're going to come back and do a separate video of the My Little Pony uh, products uh, a little bit later. Look at that. Oh boy. I'll have to grab that later. 
later. I think this idea is really cute. A big giant coloring wall with the My Little Ponies. The girls going to town over there. And good old time. Oops, that's all right. All right, on to Beyblade. tickets I think this is a fantastic value out uh, of VIP hot uh, tickets uh, I think they got a little bit of a learning curve figure out how to make uh, they have a greater value but I think just to get in here and experience all the fun things to do here this would be a blast for my family oh my god the girls would be running around having fun here uh, so much stuff to do oh, this. oh it's a uh, <laughs> Apparently it's a like nerf battle place where you actually are. That's funny. I thought it was like an obstacle course. So I learned this weekend that nerf is, if I recall correctly, is Hasbro's largest global brand. seen it. Alright, I'm going to pause this and take a picture of myself with the trolls for my daughters. Uh, assuming that's not a big line. Come this way. Okay, we did not do the uh, picture of the trolls because the line was a little too long. For real area, wow, look at all this. We got a little troll down there. Lots of girls wearing their hair like that. I think that is adorable. i try that with my girls. Cybertron friends. This is your old friend Greg Lombardo, my new job at Play-Doh. And so uh, here at the Play-Doh booth, uh, we've got uh, Kitchen Creation Station. Basically, uh, we have a host live on the hour, every hour to take uh, up to 40 kids through uh, a different place set every hour. And so kids can pretend they're making their favorite Play-Doh treats. Um, it's super fun. We've had it packed here all weekend. Um, you can also come by and check out uh, Play-Doh Touch. We've got a hands-on Play-Doh Touch uh, station over here where you can make creations. There's a new Play-Doh Touch app that actually brings your creations into the app and brings it to life. And so then you can kind of play uh, a, a video game basically with your Play-Doh creation and decorate your background. And then also we have Da Vinci over here in the back corner, which is a very different compound that uh, you uh, extrude out and it's uh, like drawing with dough basically. Um, and uh, kids are having a ton of fun doing that as well. So uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to get a glimpse of all the kids when they're in at the kitchen creation station here yeah, I'll uh, a little back. bit later. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Greg. All right, and that was uh, Greg Lombardo. I just uh, got done talking with him. He was a great guy. He used to work in the Transfers brand team. And I uh, love that guy. He's one of the first Hasbro employees to really 
um, really re reach out, connect with me, and uh, uh, meant a lot to me. And that's really where my relationship with Hasbro uh, really began was with uh, with Greg. So awesome to see him on Play-Doh, and uh, it's crazy. I've known some of these uh, Hasbro employees now for you know better part of uh, I don't know, 10, 12 years now. You know, on a more connected level. But anyways, uh, I kind of blew past uh, Baby Alive. Um, that's, oh, I gotta be fair to them. We'll sneak through here real quick. Baby Alive. My daughters uh, have a few of these guys. I think one of their heads won't stay on or something like that. Oh boy, all those dolls over there. Girls will love this. Oh boy. What is going on over here? where the baby alive babies must be born. All right. Another face painting, face painting station. Anazuki. I don't know much about this other than I got a couple of these items at San Diego when they uh, were handing stuff out. Lana is a really great singer. That's awesome. I didn't know you knew each other. Oh, that's so cool. My best friend would... Oh, I have so many best friends. Dad's lessons. Yay. That's interesting. Oh, boy. Thank you, bye. screwed this up, I think. It's going down the wrong, so we're backtracking for a minute. Transformers fans, don't forget to visit designer Ken Christensen on the fifth floor. Okay, back to our final part of the video tour down here. So this area in the middle is the Hasbro Boutique. Uh, this is here's like the Hasbro toy shop that you see at like San Diego Comic Con. So you can buy select uh, Hasbro products here. Uh, as far as Transformer stuff goes, it seems uh, a little out of some of the choices. Uh, surprised not to see some of the flagship products like Triptychon and stuff here. But that's apparently not what they're going after. So uh, they have some uh, Titans Return figures, uh, some of the One Step Last Night figures were here. Um, some of the All Spark Power figures or All Spark Tech figures were here. Let's see what they got. I kept hoping they were going to. Stick out some brand new ones. Wow, man, the Titans of Turn figures just blew out of here. But, and I've seen them refill this a couple yeah, times, so. You want one? Look at this one. That. Some decent prices. I think they're like 20% oh, like off. Uh, so, anyways, uh, that's a bunch of squeaks. here uh, have some product representation <laughs> and there's the uh, Hasbro exclusives are here at this booth there's a bunch of uh, toys and a bunch of exclusives and da 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 so that completes the video wrap up of down here um, Let's see what else we can get some more video Let's get the uh, video going here. So I'm just left the, the main room where all the Transformers and you know, all the Hasbro stuff is at. I'm gonna head upstairs. Uh, we're heading to the Discovery Family stage for the next Transformers panel. Fortunately, I had to miss the Women of Transformers. But 
think that'll be alright.